Hello, friends. Today I would like to talk about birth and whether or not we're born with a debt to others or if we are born free. So in thinking about this issue of a debt to society, are we born with a, a debt to society? I have come to the conclusion that no, we do not have a debt to society when we're born. We are born completely free. We don't owe anyone anything. We have not signed any contracts at this point. We've made no agreements. And so I, I wonder if, if the relationship of a, a, a parent or a, a couple parents or however many a, a kiddo has, if that's a completely voluntary thing. The parents see value in the children, they love the children, and they therefore want to rear the children, provide them with food and, and shelter and, and uh, opportunities for, for learning and all the other things. I think that that's a voluntary thing that parents do. I don't think they have a, uh, a responsibility to do that as far as a responsibility that other human beings would force upon them. They don't have a positive right. You can't have positive rights. We've talked about this. So if the only thing that a child is born with is just their, op their, their skills, their intelligence, their appearance, their physical abilities, mental abilities, uh, some get lucky and are born at a particular geographic location while others are born at a one that many of us would think are is a lousier place. But all the things that happen to make that place that the child happened to be born good or bad in whomever's opinion, that's not up to the child. The child doesn't owe anything for that. There's no responsibility for the child to pay back the people that provided that place. And the reason for this, one big reason, is that the people that made that place great did not have a contract with the child. And they didn't probably really do it for that child. So for example, if there is a farmer that has on the corner of his property, uh, one of his fields, he has an area that has mounds in it that, that dirt bikes can ride over and such. And all the kids like to go there and play and the farmer loves it when they do it because he can go out there and hire them to do chores around the farm and it kind of brings them close to him. So in, in this scenario, the child has no obligation to the farmer for having built a nice bicycle park. There's no obligation. The farmer did it either because he wanted to to get joy out of it or because he wanted to do it as a recruitment thing. But the, uh, this new child, no, nothing is owed to the farmer. The child is born completely without obligation to anyone. The child has no positive rights, only negative rights. And I just can't see it any other way. If you can help me see it another way, I would be open to that. Please leave a comment if, if this doesn't make sense. If you can rationally, morally, philosophically argue the point um, without just being emotional and putting your feels into it. But if you really have a good argument, I'm very interested in learning and changing my viewpoint if there's a better one out there. Thanks for listening, and please do subscribe right down there.